this video I'm going to show you how to wax your thread for hand sewing. The tools that you'll need for this today will be some thread, wax, a piece of paper towel, some sort of a pressing board, could be anything as long as it's long enough to be able to hold your iron on top of it along with some thread while you're waxing it, and the paper towel, and an iron. We're going to be using the iron without steam, at least on a medium-high setting. First thing you want to do is get the right amount of length of thread that you would like to use for your hand stitch. This is generally about an arm's length away because you'll be doubling the thread up on, on the needle. So in other words, it's going to end up being half the size. You want it to be long enough for your stitch. You take the thread, pull it through the wax a couple of times. Put it inside the paper towel on your pressing board. And pull. Pretty easy. You don't want to use fake carnauba wax or carnauba wax in general. You want to use beeswax. The properties of beeswax, I'm not entirely sure why it works better, but it does. Um, so this means, unfortunately, you won't be able to get the stuff at Joann's if you want to do a good job. You can if you want, but I found that the uh, wax at Joann's generally doesn't last as long. Um, it cuts through, it's too soft. The beeswax ends up having just the right consistency for what it is that we're doing. And you want to use the best tools possible. Here we are. Get it through a couple of times. Put it through again. And that's that. Now after you have your thread waxed. Let's say you have like four or five different pieces of thread. It can get pretty messy. What you do is you go ahead and just tie a knot on one side here. Keep them together. The consistency of the thread you'll notice is going to get better. It's going to feel like a cord. It's going to be more wiry. This is a good thing for when you're sewing. What it does is the wax gets in between the fibers of the thread. This keeps it from fraying, from snagging up, from doing all sorts of bad things when you're doing hand stitching. With a machine stitch, you don't have to do this because it's machine precise, but for tailoring, all of the stitches that we're going to be doing um, are going to be hand stitched. Um, and this is because unless you have a specialized machine, you're going to be doing a lot of hand stitching. Um, the next videos that I'm going to be showing are going to be showing some different types of hand stitching that you can uh, learn on your own. You want to practice those and that way you can get on your way to doing good tailoring. Thank you very much for watching this video and uh, check out the other ones that we have.